Ryan Dorn, continuing our coverage here from ITSEC 2010 in Orlando, and I'm thrilled to be joined by Beverly C. She is the Senior Vice President um, at Science Applications International Corporation, and we're just thrilled to uh, uh, that you take a second to chat with us. Tell us a little bit about the company, if you would, Beverly, and then we'd like to, to see uh, one of the products you have on display. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, SEIC, Science Applications, is a Fortune 500 company with 45,000 employees. Our booth here represents our Orlando organization where we feature our modeling, simulation, and training products that we use across the company in all our domains that include health, energy, cyber, and a number of uh, Department of Defense needs. Our forte is building platforms for simulations where we, where we can have composable systems. And these composable systems allow us to quickly generate a new simulation for training and other product needs for our customers. For example, we're going to show you the common driver trainer. You've got uh, you know quite uh, an exhibition set up here, um, you know at ASEC 2010. So we'd love to walk over if you'd have us and uh, show us the interior and, and uh, the demonstration here of this particular unit. Okay, thank you, Ryan. Beverly, tell us what we're seeing here. This is called the Operator Center. That's correct, and you can see the mirrors in the screen on the left and the screen on the right. And if you look up in the simulator, those are the windows. Oh, okay. So that's what it looks like, and in, in the front are the windshields. So. What we're seeing on this station is exactly what the simulator, the driver's seeing when he's in the simulator. So we're, we're going down a pretty smooth terrain right now through a forest. Um, conditions can change. Looks like they're coming up against a roadblock, and so he has to slow down. And actually, looks like they're being detoured over to the right. And as you can see, it has six degree of freedom platform motion base. Absolutely. Now, are there combat scenarios as well for the system, or is it is it a straight Absolutely. training? Absolutely, this can be uh, integrated with our one semi-automated forces, which can put them through a force-on-force -force training where they can ha be shot at, they can be shooting, and um, and and figure out how to maneuver in various scenarios. So the sizing of the steering wheel, the pedals, the gears, everything inside is 100% realistic. True. Absolutely. That's true to the actual vehicle, whether it's an MRAP, a striker, a tank. Um, we use the same equipment. What a great demonstration. Thanks so much. So tell me just a little bit more uh, about the product offering, why things are, this is so important uh, you know, for our soldiers in the field. Well, the Common Driver Trainer provides critical driving skills for our warfighters, and this will ensure survivability. It will help them accomplish their mission, and it really... Uh, provides our, the needs in theater for, for our soldiers that will keep them safe. Oh, absolutely outstanding. Beverly, thanks so much. We appreciate it very much. Our coverage continues here live from ITSEC 2010 in Orlando.